Hello folks, Robert here with more River Training and today we're going to continue on with our precast building. Now this is an advanced course. Uh, please start from the beginning if you're just watching this video. So we kind of messing around with the roof, but this video is going to be strictly about the walls now. So um, we're going to go first of all I'm going to I'm going to do something here. I'm going to shut I'm going to um, going to my plant, my level one view, and there's our walls. Well, we got these columns in here, really don't need them, because what they do with these buildings, they sort of zip them up real tight with the, the ceiling and the, and these posts here. I'm not sure that's going to work out here, but it should be okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to create a wall, a precast wall. Now these walls, or these openings are here just about where we thought they would be. I think this one had to be a little bigger. So I'm going to just edit this. No, I know we're going to probably do something vertical there. So I'll just leave that to it. So first thing you want to do here, I'm going to select all these walls. I'm going to go tab and select. Let me see if I can do this this way again. So tab. Okay. There you go. So I'm going to go tab. So I have all these walls. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my properties. And these are all basic tenants, generic walls. I'm trying to think how wide would we want our panels. So I'm going to say 12 inches. So I'm going to edit this type. I'm going to duplicate this. And we're going to call this precast wall panel. We're going to say OK. Now, here we want to edit the structure. We want to hit this, and then we want to preview this. So, this is the wall panel. It's only all it is is concrete. And so, let's uh, actually, that's the plan view. Let's look at it in section. OK. So, now here, What's highlighted is what's here. So now I want to go and say I want to insert two more layers here. So hit the insert tab and insert again. So these are my different layers or different, or these have no value. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just say for this guy, I'm going to go four. I'm going to do four and four. I'm going to go OK here. Now, there's our wall. But now I, I want to go back here and I want to edit this. And here, I'm going to go and put these materials in here, basically. So this is going to be precast. We're going to use the insulated wall pattern. That's probably, you see all these big buildings. I know I see all these big buildings. They're throwing up that precast. Basically what we're doing now, but this is a smaller version. So let me go with uh, precast concrete. Oh, don't let me have to create this. There we go. Precast concrete. And... Hmm. I don't know, I'm not, you know, we're going to just go with the, I'm going to just go with the normal way here. I've never used this before. I'm going to just go with this. Uh, I'm going to say OK. And they're going to be four inches. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Um, let me see what this is going to look like. Yeah, okay. I'll go with it for the graphics. Uh, I'm going to say okay here. Let me see what did I have here. Normal weight. Oh, this is going to be the same. Normal weight. What does that look like? Mm, I don't really like how that looks. You know, let's see what this looks like.
Well, I wanted something smooth, so let's just go with the precast for now. We can change this to anything we want. Okay, there. And we'll go same here, concrete precast. We'll say okay. So there's our wall. But you know that they have a little I they call this the white area and what they do here. Um uh, I'm gonna show you this. I hope I think I remember doing this. I've got a video of this. Uh I think I remember you want a split region here. Yes, is it and then we wanna bring this up about I don't know if it's gonna be two feet maybe. But now let's go with two feet since it's acting right. And then we want to join these together. Merge, merge. Uh, this is what I never would get right. There you go. So there's our bottom. See if we can do this on the top here. Uh, I'm going to say OK for now. So we got that one. And then let's do the top. Let's go with uh, edit again. And we'll do a... Modify this guy. Nope, I'm sorry. Split regions. We'll go two feet there. Uh oh, wrong one. Dang. No, I didn't get. Okay, then we're going to merge this here to that. Ah. Nope, didn't get it right. Man, you can't out of that. Try this one more time. If not, I'll you know I don't want to waste time on this doing this, but you know how to do it. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna just uh, edit this guy. Uh, we're gonna split region. I'm gonna bring this down to two feet or about thereof. Split line there. I'm gonna split line. Get in there. Come on, guy. That's fine. And then I want to merge this region. I want to merge this over there. Or that over here. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to say okay. I'm going to apply this. And I'm going to go okay. So these are our walls now. These are precast panels, insulated wall panels. That's what we have now. So what I want to do now is I want to go into my level one from the project browser. And there's our wall panel. So I'm going to put this in a wireframe so you can see it. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. That's okay. All right. So what I'm going to do here. Go to my 3D view, briefly. Let me just drop a little section in here. Uh, okay, level one. Actually, this should be right here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so there's our wall panels now in the model. Our precast wall panels. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to go into level one. Show you this right quick. Uh, go back in the hidden line. Now actually, we don't need none of these columns. We don't need them at all. But what I'll do is, just for time's sake, well, let's see if I can do this quickly here. Go to my 3D view. I'm going to isolate this guy oh we don't need these columns along the perimeter so I'm going to right click isolate this category you know, from here from the view let's do this again here let's, let's click off here I'll select this column here and I'm going to use my view and I'm going to isolate this category Okay, so these perimeter columns I don't need, so I'm getting rid of these. Okay, delete. This can go. Let's 
should we, can I get all these? Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Delete and delete. Really? <laughs> so, get these. These are out. I don't need them. The walls of support itself. As you can see, you know, they building these things everywhere. Uh, I'm going to delete these here. And this. Okay, now, this is just walls will come back again to the... Uh, The columns, come on now. What's going on, folks? Reset temporary height. Okay. All right, what's going on here? It's, oh, I know what happened. I had a lot of uh, things going on here with this model because of. Uh, join elements and everything so I think it's not wanting to why is it not letting me okay so I'm gonna go to my level one and I'm gonna go to my let me see why is this happening here that's weird never seen it before I did a temporary hide isolate and it won't let me go bring it back so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just undo this I don't know what happened there that was really weird uh, gosh so here we got our wall panels which is great that we created so now I'm gonna go in and draw and create the uh, the different panels so if I go to level one I might want to go and do the split tool and this right here will split the wall in a gap and this gap is only three quarters of an inch which you see here so I'm gonna go here and just say split there. I want to do a split there for now. I'll split it there. That's one of the tiles in the 3D view. T, Z, A. Okay. So I'm putting them at the column spaces right now. And then just, just really just go through here. Actually, it should be 11 feet. So from this column, we'll go 11. See what happens. So that's 10, 11. Go another 11 here. Just get 11, or let's see. Or you can adjust these guys or whatever. And then we got an issue one to here. So we're going to have to do some, some things. I'm going to put one there. I'm just placing these for now. I gotta place them in, in proper spaces at another time. There's one there. We've got to deal with the. We don't even need this on right now, so uh, we don't need this on either. I'm gonna go WT here. We're gonna tile these guys, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish these windows, uh, these these panels. Um, just using the split tool. There, we got to fix it around that door. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it there. And when I'll come back, I'll have all these done. And we got to figure out the window openings based on the architect's model. So, hey, guys. And then this situation, you can move these even. So I'm just show you this quickly. That one's offline. I can just go ahead and say, and click it. I think I can. Let's see, tab, tab. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Video's running a little long. You know, I don't like doing long videos. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in my next uh, video. Um, anyway, um, please subscribe. Uh-oh. Helps me, like, make videos like this all the time. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Be safe. Happy holidays.